Capcom's dead franchise Mega Man be coming back. So Mega Man usually comes back in like reboots and remakes and you know, not reboots and remakes, remasters mostly, okay? They don't really ever make, the last Mega Man game they made was Mega Man 11. And that came out like five or six years ago. Which is funny because we used to get like a new Mega Man game like every year. It used to be the Call of Duty of retro games. Okay. And people were like, oh, why are you comparing Mega Man to Call of Duty? It was a part set up. Okay, set up. They really released a new Mega Man game. It was includes Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero, Mega Man ZX, Mega Man Battle Network. Like every year. And then for some reason around 2007, 2008, they just stopped. Maybe it's because nobody, because people were sick of Mega Man and so no one was buying Mega Man. But apparently Mega Man is so popular, they put him in Smash Bros, you know, over more popular characters like Ryu and Ken. Ken, who Ryu was put into Smash Bros as DLC over Mega Man because Mega Man was deemed more popular, at least according to Nintendo fans. But... Focus on stuff that happened in X8, not called X9, Sigma is nowhere to be seen, and new villains simply transferred to the gates like Exos. Customers will armor, you can treat stuff like that, so I can get text them with what my girl will boast it. They were fully playable to at the time, no world co op yet, but they work a that way. It would link the crappy mobile games to extra components in the new armor system. We did October on all platforms. Pillars, Bros is confirmed, and the game would be 50 instead of 70. So apparently, we're getting a new Mega Man X game. Again, take, take this with a grain of salt. I don't believe this is probably happening, but yeah. I think everybody will be excited if there is a new Mega Man game coming out. So yeah. Maybe we'll have a breath of fresh air in modern gaming, you know. But again, Mega Man X might have a bunch of micro so it might be broken and buggy at once. So yeah. Goodbye.